who is wise to understand this? And to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, even he shall declare it. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel that feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the sheep. The weak have ye not strengthened, the sick have ye not healed, neither have ye bound up the broken nor brought again that which was driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with cruelty and with rigor have ye ruled them. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock was spoiled, and my sheep were devoured of all the beasts of the field, having no shepherd, neither did my shepherds seek my sheep, but the shepherds fed themselves, and fed not my sheep, Therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, O ye shepherds. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I come against the shepherds, and will require my sheep at their hands, and cause them to cease from feeding the sheep. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more. I will feed my sheep, and bring them to their rest, saith the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen the weak. But I will destroy the fat and the strong, and I will feed them with judgment. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I judge between sheep and sheep, between the rams and the goats, Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pasture, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must trouble the residue with your feet. And my sheep eat that which ye have trodden with your feet, and drink that which ye have troubled with your feet. Therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. I, the Lord, have spoken, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land. Who is wise to understand this, and to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, even he shall declare it? Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, and have not loved, I am as sounding brass or a tinkling symbol. And though I had the gift of prophecy, and knew all secrets, and all knowledge, yea, if I had all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and had not love, I were nothing. And though I feed the poor with all my goods, and though I give my body, that I be burned, and have not love, it profited me nothing. Love suffereth long, it is bountiful, Love envieth not. Love doth not boast itself. It is not puffed up. It doth no uncommon thing. It seeketh not her own thing. It is not provoked to anger. It thinketh no evil. It rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. It suffereth all things. It believeth all things. It hopeth all things. All things. Love does never fall away. Though that prophesies be abolished, or the tongues cease, or knowledge vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be abolished. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then shall we see face to face. Now I know in part, but then.
shall I know even as I am known. And now about his faith, hope, and love, even these three. But the chiefest of these is love. shall he that is worthy of death die. But at the mouth of one witness he shall not die, that his heart be not lifted up above his brethren, and that he turn not from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, but that he may prolong his days, and whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet that shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that speaketh in the name of other gods, even the same prophet shall die. And if thou think in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not therefore be afraid of him, neither shall he take him many wives, lest his heart turn away. Therefore the Lord God of hosts, the Lord, saith thus, said unto Daniel, Behold, thou art but dead, because of the woman which thou hast taken. Then he rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and believed him not, nor hearkened unto his voice. He hath been rebellious unto the Lord since the day that I knew you. He provoked the Lord to anger, so that the Lord was wroth with you, even to destroy you. Who is wise to understand this? And to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, even he shall declare it. Thou hast neither part nor fellowship in this business, for thine heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness, and pray God that if it be possible, the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I see that thou art in the gall of bitterness, and in the bond of iniquity. <laughs> 